context was the euro is still a buy right so there was some um some news that came out yesterday um and it talks about eurozone yields drop off the report of slower ecb tightening so uh, i think it was uh, philip lane i think came out in an interview with the financial times published on tuesday that the ecb must raise their rates to a level that starts uh, uh yeah it was talking about the um where was it uh oh, i think it, I thought it was here um well basically you know uh, I think it was Philip Lane or somebody came out yesterday and pretty much said in an article that um, in, an, in an interview that um, potentially there could be um, the ECB was considering a slower pace of interest rate hikes. And really, that's what, you know, the market is is driven by or partially driven by, right, is interest rates, but also as well, whether the economy can um, support those interest rates. And so um, any kind of shift in the market's expectations of, you know, of interest rates, as well as um, uh, uh, the economy will shift the valuation of the, 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 the currency. Now, um, you, uh, Villaroy, um, who is an ECB member, says Lagarde's half point ECB guidance is still valid. And this was earlier this morning, uh, today at uh, 7.54. So French won't, um, official won't speculate on size of March rate increase. Moderating inflation uh, has prompted talk of smaller hikes. So there's slightly smaller hikes on the horizon. Um, as expected, um, because of, you know, inflation potentially coming down. Um, but guidance from the European uh, Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, uh, Bank President Christine Lagarde, that borrowing costs will continue to be lifted in half a point steps for some time, still holds, right, according to Governor, Governing Council Member uh, Francis Villeroy de Gal Gal Galhau, I think that's how you pronounce it, right? So yesterday there was a bit of speculation, oh, don't know, not too sure. And now, you know, they pretty much come out um, and said that it's, you know, still valid. So it's, uh, he also says, uh, we are very clear, we are very, uh, we said very clearly, we still decide uh, meeting by uh, meeting. Uh, we are data driven, so it's too early to speculate about what we will do in March, Philora said. Uh, let me remind you of the words of the President Lagarde at her uh, last press conference in December. We should expect to raise rates at a pace of 50 basis points for a period of time. Well, these words are still valid today. And so, you know, that's pretty much, um, you know, what 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 uh, was said this morning and the euro extended gains against the dollar and after the remarks trading at about 0.5% stronger. So again, it's all about the expectation of, you know, interest rates, but also the fact that the, the economy can support interest rates, which, you know, a lot of the um, economists and banks are saying that the um the you know europe should avoid a recession or if it goes into a recession it would be a very you know light one a very brief one shallow uh recession and so that's uh that's where we are so as far as i'm aware um i'm still buying the the euro for now of course um you know anything can change hopefully it doesn't uh but as long as the data supports the narrative then i will continue to buy um the uh the dollar i'm mean, sorry the uh i mean i'm bloody buying dollar still uh mode um buying the euro right and um and so also as well another thing is is this is not is one thing to, to also be reminded of is let me see if i can find a blank piece. all right so let me just do it here um, is that remember at some point, remember the market moves, tends to move in, in auctions and trends, of course, but in auctions, right? So let's say, for example, that's the valuation of, um, you know, a certain particular currency, right? Then you get some, you know, some news that kind of goes against the currency, right? Then you start to get to see something like this, but eventually, you know, the market will again rebalance itself. It will re-auction, Yeah right into the value right so that was the value when you know everyone was positive about you know about the euro and now that we've got maybe a readjustment and a re-evaluation of the euro we have to kind of revalue you know the the chart a bit lower but it doesn't mean it's going to trend all the way down right it's just got it just has to find 
its you know its bargain price and let the market tell you where the bargain price is and then hopefully we get involved you know on a demand zone or a stop hunt or some sort of cpr at some point right that's what we're hoping to do so just because you might get some negative sentiment um if you're in obviously if you're in a trade it can be um you know you know you might want to you know come out of that trade even if it goes um you know it goes down and doesn't stop you out and goes higher it was probably still the right thing to do because of the fact that you did have that negative that you know and especially when um negative sentiment and negative there's a difference between um you know a, a negative data point coming out and what type of negative data point it is or um or or speculation it is now something like a european central bank member saying that you know they may want to go from they may not hike um 50 basis points and maybe high by 25 basis points in the March meeting is something that, you know, the market is definitely going to pay attention to, right? Whereas something like maybe, I don't know, but home building, right, isn't maybe something that the market really is going to pay attention to or, might, or, or, or is likely to kind of look past as maybe a bit of a blip. They don't hold the same weight. So, um, Ken, you're not wrong for getting out of that Euro Swiss. You're definitely not wrong for, for getting out of it and you made the right choice. Um, but what I would then say is, is that the Euro Swiss, because I'm looking at that trade as well, is I'm still looking to be a buyer of that Euro Swiss for sure. And now hopefully I can get, you know, a much you know better price down at the lows. And so just keep in mind, that's the scenario. It doesn't mean that now because the ECB are, you know, are saying 25 basis points that, you know, we should start to sell the euro. That doesn't make any sense. Just, you know, it doesn't mean that they're not hiking, right? They're still hiking, they're still looking to appreciate the currency. You know, it's just a case of looking at who's doubled the least fees, you know, and um, looking at a revaluation a bit lower. So with the expectation that prices, you know, should potentially go higher. Uh, Ken said, same here, but I need to see it trade. Yeah, a value. Absolutely. Absolutely. There was something I was actually looking at. Um, it was actually on a really lower time frame. And I rarely go down to it, but I was watching it. Uh, let me just go to it now while we're on the Euro Swiss. <clears throat> Euro Swiss. Um, there was there was a bit of a, an auction here, which was quite interesting. 